would be my suggestion if I was to go back if I was to go do it all over again and I was to to go to college I would take things that will help you in your career in dance or any career or just in life in general I would take something yo what's up everybody welcome back look at this look at this beautiful mic we listened we know the audio needed work and we're going to continuously put in work to make sure this is better. We want to improve the experience. So I invested in a mic. I actually invested in two mics. Aside from these advice tutorials, advice tip videos, whatever you want to call it. I'm also doing a podcast that I'm really excited about. So stay tuned for that. So get in the comments and tell me how you feel about the sound. Has it made a difference? The impact it has and everything like that. I think it also looks very cool. So we're, we're, we're hype. We're hip. Hip. We're hype. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, and afterwards, if this has helped you in any kind of way, especially the topic today, I get asked about this a lot, and I feel like this will bring a lot of clarity for people. So yeah, if, it, if it's inspired you or helped you in any kind of way, make sure you share it. I'm sure you're gonna have a friend that has this question that's ruminating in their mind, and this will greatly, will greatly help them. I believe so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. So today's topic is, do you need college? for dance to work professionally as a dancer do you need college this is a touchy subject for a lot of people i feel like there's so many things that go into um bringing clarity for which direction you should go college or no college right so let's go ahead and dig into it the first thing i want to touch on is what do you want for your career that's very, very important. I think we talk about this a lot. Intentions, your why, the direction you want to go, your goals. Your goals are going to navigate you. It's going to show you the direction you need to go, the choices you need to make. You need to make choices that align with your vision for yourself. So the first thing you need to get clear on is within dance, what do I want to do? What are my goals? Which direction do I want to go? I, honestly, in my experience and, and from what I've heard, if you're going to go to college for dance, it's typically for people who want to also teach within college. I think you, you're gonna need a degree to be able to then educate within the college university system. If that is your goal, I'm gonna tell you right now, then that's something you're going to have to do for the most part. I've, I've seen people teach maybe workshops. I've even taught a, a workshop at Princeton before, but as far as a professor at a university, that's a different route. That's an entirely different route. So really ask yourself, what do I want within my career? That's the first step. And that's gonna be the first step for any direction, any, any goal you have, anything, any decision, I should say, any decision you're gonna be making, you really need to go back to what's the goal, what's my purpose, what's my reason why, what do I want out of my life? And does this decision align with the vision and the goal that I have for myself and my future? Second, I wanna talk about the difference between schooling and education. And schooling can give you an education. Going to a university, going to a college is not the only way to learn and to grow and to gain knowledge on a certain subject or a certain career path, right? There's internships, there's mentorships, there's self-education, there's reading books, there's study. You still need to be educated. You still need to educate yourself on whatever it is you want to do. Now, whether that is through an institution or it's through conferences or it's through books or it's through, honestly, there's so much you can learn just through Google and YouTube and there's so much access to information freely that's ready, ready and available to you through the internet. But either way, it is very, very important to continuously throughout your life. And even if you do go to, whether you go to college, whether you go to a university or not, uh, you should always be a student for the rest of your life. You should constantly be growing, learning, educating yourself, learning new skills, I'll always, constantly. I think it's very important for people to come to that realization. No matter what you, no matter which way you go, you, you do need to prioritize your education. And even now, I'm, 31 years old, I just turned 31, and I've had a major career. I've done just about everything that I've wanted to do in all facets in, in within dance, and I still continuously make it a priority to educate myself, make sure I'm constantly growing and, and building you know, who I am as a person, as a creative, as an artist, as a dancer, as a mentor. I need to constantly be educating myself, filling myself up so that I can pour in, 
into others. To sum it up, my third and final point I wanna give to you, here's a disclaimer. I left school early, uh, <laughs> AKA I dropped out of high school, just to give you a little bit of, of context. <laughs> So, so maybe I am a little bit biased, and, and, but I, I, I can guarantee you I'm, I'm speaking from my own experience. And also, whenever I, I, whenever I approach these videos, I'm not just speaking honestly from my experience, and I do wanna give you that because that's what I know best, but I'm also taking into account the conversations that I've had with other choreographers, professional dancers, uh, mentors, everything like that. But um, to sum it up from, from my perspective and my, per, my experience, to work professionally as a dancer, if this is the route you wanna go, if you wanna be in the, in the industry or even uh, a, a working teacher, a traveling teacher or anything like that, or a studio owner, you do not, I take that back. A studio owner is, is slightly different and I wouldn't say you, you don't need college, but I don't think you need to go to college for dance, I should say, to be a studio owner. From my perspective, to just sum it up, you don't need to go and major in dance in college to be a working professional dancer. Now, what I will say, if you are trying to make the decision now, if you wanna go to a university or go to college, I will say there are things that you can learn from an institution, from college, that can benefit you in your dance career and beyond your dance career. So if we're specifically talking about going to college to major in dance, I do not believe it is necessary. But if you are going to go or your parents really want you to go or, or you want to experience it for whatever reason, it would be my suggestion if I was to go back, if I was to go do it all over again and I was to, to go to college, I would take things that will help you in your career in dance or any career or just in life in general. I would take something within finance or accounting. I would, I would take a course in marketing. Get, get some kind of skills that will help you in just life in general, Th that any direction you wanna go, whether it's dance or beyond dance, or maybe after college you don't end up dancing, take something that's going to help you in anything that you want to do. And maybe even something on the side that's just random that you just are interested in. No matter what, honing any kind of skill is going to improve your quality of life, your overall character. And at some point, everything that I have dabbled in and worked on bettering myself at, whether it's dance or beyond dance, one way or another, it's taught me about life and it's, it's taught me about art and it's taught me how to be a better human, how to be a better professional in one way or another. I feel like mastering anything is going to help you with everything else that you do. That is my take on it. I hope that gives people some kind of clarity. If if you want to take this conversation forward, let's go ahead and just expand on the conversation within the comments. If you have any other questions may, that maybe I didn't touch on, that maybe are, are bothering you or keeping you up at night, let's go ahead and get in the comments and let's, let's talk about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I, I hope it has helped you. I hope it has uh, brought you some kind of clarity um please subscribe if you feel like this has helped you please share it and i love you thank you so much for watching i appreciate you we live off of your responses and your feedback so please keep letting us know how we're doing we will continue to improve thank you have an amazing amazing blessed day